luck would have it, one of America's two most powerful villains of the next decade is turned loose to strike terror into the hearts of men. <laughs> to shock women into uncontrolled hysteria. Don't touch that! The villains themselves were ultimately responsible for much of the popularity. Audiences love to hate. The importance of the villain was not overlooked. Of course, one of the worst of all was mad villain. They had no code of ethics. What's the matter? I was only trying to... Get to work on these boys. Anybody bring a gun for me? Yeah, here's one. It's not one, but two. Typical villain releases include... I know they're gonna catch me, but don't let anyone see me like that! Please, doctor, help me! And a sequel. Master of all... And both villains were to meet in... Your mother was the lightning! Two historical figures, outlaws and desperados at that, the villainous pair of really nice boys who just happen to be on the wrong side of the law. 360 degrees and similar sequences could not be defeated. Villains who possessed supernatural abilities, villains who were the personification of carnage, mad villains that more accurate mirror the dark side of our being. Perhaps it is due to this seminal connection that the audiences can relate their experience in life with the villains and their dastardly doings 